So accountability. I want to talk about the role of being accountable for your actions and kind of your experience on tour and what that really means to you. Yeah, so to me, accountability, all right? I picked the club, I hit the shot, I chose the way to practice the way I play, I practiced, I chose to do this or this or this, right? I stayed up on Instagram till two in the morning even though I was teeing off at eight o'clock, right? Accountability. So what you'll see a lot on tour, and it happens more often than people realize, the saying on tour is, uh, short or long is the caddy's fault and left or right is the coach's fault. And both of those people didn't hit the shot. Okay, so the thing is, people who play the blame game, okay, they blame because they really can't handle the pain and discomfort of the mistake they made. So I've even had agents tell me on the PGA Tour, you know, not to, you know, fall on the sword, take the blame, mm -hmm. because then this way the player won't lose his confidence. And I remember when I first heard that, I, I, said, to the, the, I said to the manager, I said, well, the, I get that, but the problem with that is that that player is the, the one making the same mistake every single time. So all he does is remain confident making the same mistake, so it's really not leading to competency anyways. Right. So every time you use the word confidence, kids, I want you to then use the word competence, okay? Because it's very easy to be confident if I'm competent. It doesn't work the other way around, okay? So accountability, it's all right. You hit a bad shot, learn from it, move on. If you're blaming slow play, if you're blaming your equipment, if you're blaming this, you're blaming that, then you are basically advertising to everyone around you that you're never gonna be great at this anyways, ever. So even if you go up Mount Everest, you can hire a Sherpa. The Sherpa puts down, I'm a Sherpa, okay? The caddy's a Sherpa. The performance coach is a Sherpa. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put the ladders down over the big trenches that you have to walk over, but you still have to walk over the ladder and look down at, man, if I fall, that's a thousand feet down there, no one will ever see me again. I cannot walk for you, I can't climb the mountain for you, okay? I'm just there. The other idea is to understand with accountability is that if you do feel like you're not getting help, if you do feel like your coach isn't helping you, then don't just sit there and think it and not bring it up. You gotta speak about it. So accountability is also being true to yourself and what you think about what you feel. Mm -hmm. So accountability is one of the biggest words on tour. So I've seen so many guys for years Changing clubs, changing putters, changing coaches, changing agents, changing, changing, changing. So they're changing everything around them and not looking inside at themselves mm -hmm. and at the deeper understanding of that. Okay? So I asked Tiger Woods once. Um, we had talked about a couple players who were just always blaming their caddies and the people around them. And I said, Tiger, have you ever blamed your caddy? And he said, yep. Um... Let me think about it, I'll get back to you. So the next day we were in Miami and we are on the range and he said, Foles, remember that question you asked me yesterday? Three times. I said, in your whole career, three times. Now this is someone who's been in a pressure cooker almost every weekend this whole career. So it's not like he's there on Sunday mm -hmm. when tempers flare and the moment gets big and all these different things that happen to us physiologically. Three times. And one time because his caddy was late, and the other two times because his caddy gave him a faulty number, thinking that he was more pumped up than he was. So those are actually three times that it was the caddy's fault. He said, basically, every other time I've made a mistake, I've taken responsibility because I was the one who pulled the, I was the one who hit the shot. And that's the greatest player of all time. Jack Nicholas, they asked Jack Nicholas, you know, about the caddy and what he expects of the caddy. He says, uh, I expect that he shows up on time and carries my clubs. Well, you know, what do you demand of your caddy? Um, that he shows up on time and, you know, uh, he was talking about his caddy, Angelo, and he said, you know, he knows when to not, you know, talk to me and he knows when to talk to me. Um, so that's all I expect out of him because technically I'm the greatest player in the world and I don't need to look to another person to ask them what I need to do. So how is Angelo gonna know it's a seven iron when I know it's a six iron? 
So guys, that's, that's kind of it right there. You gotta be accountable for your mistakes. And remember, the person who makes the most mistakes and learns from it ends up being the most experienced and the most wise. So if you're not making mistakes, then you're already great. If you are making mistakes, sit down, be introspective, internalize it, and look at what you can do to improve moving forward.